Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to be doing another weekly grind video. So welcome back. This is the video where we go over all of the events and summon events that are available on both the global and the JP side of Dokkan Battle. Now, this is actually going to be a little bit shorter video. There's really nothing going on. Both versions of the game are kind of dead right now. So we're just going to talk about the things that you can be doing um, with the events that are currently available if you want to do that grind. Otherwise, just log in, do the LR Freeze event, unless you already have him, just drain out some stamina, uh, or at least get your login bonuses. I mean, personally, myself, I've been grinding out the Inheritance Zones on Bleach because I want to get my PvP characters up to Link Slots 5 across the board for at least the ones that I could use the DR Links with. Um, and that's been my grind for the past couple days. I do plan on doing a video on that either tomorrow or the next day. It's going to be a little bit longer because that's going to be a full in-depth overview of Bleach Brave Souls. Uh, it's going to be, it's a fun game. There's just, it's like when you first started playing Dokkan Battle. And all the stuff that was, that came out when the game first came out is very simple to explain. And now there's a lot to do in the game. Same concept on Bleach. But let's not get too off topic. Let's go into all the events that are currently available. So first one is going to be Fight 10 Billion Power Warriors. This is the core um, event. Again, like I say every week, there's really not that much to do in this one other than go ahead and grind out the Dragon Stones. There are a whole bunch of cores. You can get them to Super Attack 10 if you really want to. Um, honestly, none of them are really that good. Uh, unless they all get some Dokken Awakenings at one point and they get some serious buffs, there's really never going to be a reason to do this. I mean, Korra does deserve his own event. I feel like during the 120 lead event, maybe he should have had, um, these guys all Dokken Awaken or something like that. Each of them Dokken Awaken to, uh, an SSR variant. That would have been cool to have that on a team. Um, or, I don't know, something else. We'll see. Maybe one day we'll get a new Korra leader and he, th that's when this whole thing will come into play. Outside of that, just go ahead and grind out every single one of the uh, missions you get some dragon stones for that um and i mean honestly so many so many of these uh cores are here uh in the event it, every single individual core that you fight up against counts towards these goals so if you want to go ahead and grind out the dragon stones just do like the thousand core uh, metal um and honestly once you get up to here you'll have what uh, eight nine ten so ten total dragon stones for completing the awards plus the rewards that you get for completing e completing each individual level this runs until the 23rd outside of that the the, the, co the collectibles are not worth it in my opinion you can if you want to if you just like to have a completed deck i have all of them they're just not super tech tanks i never grinded even back in the day they weren't worth it after you had them even though they had some cool link skills uh they still weren't worth it even back in the day but anyway let's move on to the next one this is going to be goku and friends are back this one is actually worth grinding out right now it runs until 320 so you have some time until it's available stage one is where you're going to grind out all the stuff for the baba shop so go ahead and look at the baba shop and see what you could purchase with the large radishes and small radishes uh the large radishes usually have some really good items the small ones are like more common items uh, i'm personally not grinding this out i'm i'm so done with grinding out stuff for the baba shop because it's just it is literally nothing but a grind fest until dokkan or bandai does something about the grind fest and like allows you to use multiple stamina like uh, five times the stamina in one run in order to get the reap the benefits of that i'm not going to be doing that much grinding stage two is where you're going to be able to get tarble that's vegeta's brother that's going to drop from there he's not that horrible of a unit i'd go ahead and get him up to super attack 10 stage three is the dokkan waken medals for him and stage four is the base form go tanks now i haven't had good that much luck with the drop rate i ran like about i'd say 300 to 450 stamina on this event i got one drop of the, the, the base form go tanks uh, i don't know what your luck has been like I, I really haven't had any luck getting the drop i want him to increase the super attack of all of the other go tanks that i own the base form ones before i doken awaken them but uh, again, it's it's not a high priority since I never really plan on running them. If you guys do have base form go tanks and those are your primary team members, I would highly recommend using this event to grind them out. Outside of that, get him up to Super Attack 10. Um, he's a really good unit. He's a decent unit actually. For a free to play unit, he's really good. Um, outside of that, um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that Tarble's also key orb manipulator, so he's going to be really good for a uh, well for key orb manipulation if you need that for anything. So. Keep that in mind when you're grinding out this event if you want to look over Tarble. Key Orb Manipulators are really useful depending on the event you're going up against. Next one is going to be the LR Freeze event. I don't really feel like I need to go too in-depth on this. It ends on the 19th, so you have five more days where it's going to be available every day. Then it's only available again on Sundays. Um, so essentially, stage just clear out Stage 1 and Stage 2. Stage 3 and 4 are the ones you want to worry about. Stage 3 always gives you medals, and you're always going to get good medal drops. You can get up to 20 at a time, which is very rare. Stage 4 is available. It's going to be an agility stage. Uh, stage 3 is a, is a strength stage. Stage 4 is an agility stage, so you get all the Frieza, uh, the actual Frieza cards from this. You can get a um, higher chance to drop rate of those cards. 
uh, plus you get medals if he doesn't drop. So it's definitely a good stage if you're looking to get him up to Super Tech 10 with all four Dupes unlocked. Um, so go ahead and grind that out, especially because the free-to-play tech team is probably one of the strongest teams in-game as of right now. So it definitely makes Stage 4 a lot easier. Um, also, just remember that Stage 3 is really good because the, the, that Mono Strength team can take this out without any issues, especially if you have 100% LR Goku. I did a whole bunch of videos on that, including some uh, gameplay last week, so go ahead and check out those videos if you haven't done so already. Um, Freeze's first form, you get uh, Stage 2 uh, Awakening Medals. That's how you Doken Awaken him to um, the second form or his uh, TUR form. And then the medals from Stage 3 and 4 are how you get him to LR. Big grind fest, but I mean, he's a cool unit, so I would recommend doing it because you never know, we might have one of those events in the future where we get reimbursed for Super Attack 20 with 10 other Kai's and all, all the like dupe system filled in with all the uh, uh, strength orbs fed back, you know, given back to us for getting them up to 100%. Next one is going to be Extra Stage of Dragon Ball Super, Universe Survival Saga, or just the entire event overall. Um, stage 1 is you're going to be Hercule Statues if you want to do something like that. I don't recommend grinding there for it. Stage 2 is going to be Sensu Bean. So Stage 3 is where you get the Base Form Gokus. These guys can feed into any Base Form Goku. The one that I notably always think about when I think about this card is the Strength Spirit Bomb Base Form Goku. You can go ahead and increase the Super Attack with this. This guy also Doken Awakens into Ultra Instinct Goku. So you can go ahead and feed him into Ultra Instinct Goku after you Doken Awaken him. Stage 4 is the Kachin Medals, where you're going to go into Baba Shop. Again, another Baba Shop grind in order to trade for awesome items. Um, stage 6, you get some cool training items, training locations, that is. Stage 7 is this Awakening Medals. Wouldn't recommend that. Stage 8 is Urine, so she's going to be good for the Pechi Pechi Girl category. Uh, so that way, when you go up against the Master Roshi event, you can go ahead and get additional drops for training items. Stage 9 is the Ultimate Gohan. You can get him Super Attack 10 if you want to. He's not really that great as a free-to-play unit, but he feeds into all the other Ultimate Gohans and there are a lot of them. Uh, as I've said before in previous videos, definitely start off with the strength one, and then you can go to the intelligence one, then I would go to the physical one, and then the agility one. That's just the order I pick. If you guys have something else you would like to do, go ahead and do that. But that's, a, that's a, assuming you have all of them. That's the order I would recommend. Stage 10 is going to be base form freezes. It's actually Angel Freeze. He feeds into the other world tournament freezes. I still haven't grinded these out for that one that I have. I want the other Super Attack 10. It's just not a high priority because I never run them. <laughs> so um, you can go ahead and grind those out. He also Doken Awakens into Golden Angel Frieza, which is going to be the next banner that comes up, so uh, that's kind of something worth grinding for, um, getting nine of these Doken Awakened uh, ready to feed into that Golden Frieza so you don't have to use Elder Kai's, uh, that way they get up, they can all get up to Super Attack 10, and he will hit very, very hard, and again, you just save those Elder Kai's and the future Grand Supreme Kai's. Uh, anyway, so that's that, and the medals for him are available on Stage 11 to Doken Awaken him to Golden Angel Frieza, and the medals for Goku to Doken Awaken him to Ultra Instinct are on Stage 12. Outside of that, this is a really cool event. It's also going to be available on the JP side right now, but we're going to talk about that in a little bit. So this one runs until the 18th. You have four more days to grind out all that stuff if you want to. Last but not least, the only event, that, the only summoning event that's currently available on the global side that ends today is the Intelligence Banner. So if you're looking for some Elder Kai's or for some Intelligence units or Support units, no notably the Vegeta and the Gohan, this is the one you're going to want to summon on. You also have the LR Gohan, which is a very low pull rate. You can go ahead, get two Elder Kai's per summon, and you can get the two Support units that are available there. Uh, Turtle is also really good for an extreme so honestly uh, Vegeta and Turles are gonna be perfect for that intelligence kid boo team um, as support units because there's no link skills or there's well, no there's no key link skills so those two are really really beneficial to that team anyway that's it for the oh I'm sorry we also have a tight-knit fusion super warrior summons that is for the Kefla banner with with Kale and Khalifa on it uh, this is a cool banner you get a guaranteed SSR so for those of you who are free to play these units are not bad by any means Khalifa is really good because of her high ability to dodge he's really good on a mono agility team super agility team and kale is decent because of her damage output she's a mini broly so she does have some decent damage output she don't don't um, write her off just because you know she isn't as good as broly she she doesn't have the best link skills but she can definitely be beneficial to your team especially if you're lacking in the mono mono physical super department Kefla, also really good. She is literally just a mix between these two. Uh, and some people write her off as a horrible unit, but I think she's really good. She's not someone who I would definitely consider an S tier, but she's a high A tier in my opinion. Someone that I would definitely consider running on a team depending on the situation. Plus, with her ability to dodge, she has a medium chance to dodge and a medium chance to launch a super on her guaranteed additional attack. 
So that's that. It runs until the 18th. If you're looking for some of these characters, plus the, the Skinny Boo and Bergamo, and they're not bad. I'm not a big fan of Bergamo, but the Skinny Boo isn't horrible by any means. Uh, really good banner. If you if you haven't done it already, at least give it one summon. In my opinion, you get at least one guaranteed SSR. And it runs for four more days again. Now we're moving over to the JP side of Dokkan Battle. Uh, we have the Bio Broly event that's here. I've talked about this a lot. Um, essentially... Uh, there, yeah, let's just go about into this. Stage 1 is Hercule Satchis. Again, not worth grinding. Stage 2, you have uh, Goten and Trunks medals. These are for the OG physical and agility Trunks and Goten. Highly recommend getting them, at least for the Trunks medals. You want to get, I believe it's 7 of each of them. Uh, each one requires their respective medal. Uh, so you seem to get seven times of one trunks of the trunks metal in order to token awaken that trunks. Highly, highly, highly recommend doing that because trunks is super OP for his team. Goten's good as well. Uh, I think he just does ten percent less damage. The thing is, for the team that you're running, trunks links better on his team than Goten does on his team. Uh, stage three is going to be the awakening medals for Android 18. I'm not a big fan of her, I've, as I've said in multiple videos, but you can grind them out if you want to get her Doken Waking. Krillin's are on stage four. You can go ahead and increase the Baba Shop Krillin if you got him to Super Attack 10 with this guy. And then you have Bio Broly on stage five. He is, I mean, it's it's an SSR. I would recommend getting him up to Super Attack 10 and getting all four Dupes unlocked because that's probably what you're going to end up getting or having in terms of drops by the time you get all the Awakening medals, and then Doken Awaken him. I'm not going to say put in dupe system. Some people have just because it's a joke. Um, I, I personally I would not put dupe system in unless they gave us reimbursement, but I mean, he's a really good defender, so at least for a free-to-play unit. Uh, that runs until the 27th, so you have some time for that. Next one is going to be the Dragon Ball. Um, well, essentially, it's the same one we just talked about on the global side, so I'm not going to go over. JP side, this one runs until the 30th. Uh, the next one is going to be the Low Class Warrior event, runs until the 410, so you have another month for this to be available. Uh, Raditz, Raditz medals are going to be available on Stage 4, Raditz himself is going to be available on Stage 2, and that's really the only thing notable about this. He is a Low Class Warrior leader, so, I mean, meh, whatever. I mean, maybe he'll get an Extreme Z Awakening at some point, and then he'll be useful. <laughs> it runs again until 410, and then we have the, the banners slash events that are available. I just put, brought it up once. It's going to be the LR Goku and Vegeta, um, both the angel and non-angel variants of them. For the ones that have the ability to Doken, well, to, uh, when they are LR, they Doken Awaken into LRs, and they have the ability to turn into Gogeta and or uh, Vegito. Uh, with their units so their events slash banners end on the 19th so you have five more days to run them uh, i would recommend doing it i, I like i like these guys the, the actual cards the, the idea of the units personally i haven't been able to pull either one of them if you have good for you i'm very happy for you uh, go ahead and grind this event out it's a little bit of a pain in the butt but it's definitely doable it runs until the 19th uh, last but not least we have the uh, strength banner that's available until the 26th Two Elder Kai's, just like the other one, LR Broly is available on it. So you can go ahead and grind that out if you want to. Hit is going to be the extreme support unit, and Kaba is going to be the super support unit. Anyway, guys, that's it. Like I said, this is a lot of a shorter video than typically because there's not a lot going on on uh, Dokkan Battle right now. So stay tuned. If you guys are interested in the Bleach Brave Souls video, I plan on doing it. I'm probably not going to do it right now. I'll probably do it anyway. So I'll record it either tonight or tomorrow and release it on Thursday or Friday. So whoever is interested, I know a lot of you have shown a lot of interest in the game. I will also be posting up my guild name on there. So that way you guys can search for my guild and you can join the guild and play along with me. I post up in the guild room all the time uh, whenever I'm doing co-op when I want people to join. So just go ahead and get yourself set up. I'll definitely play along with you. Um, and we'll, I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk more about that when, that comes, when, I, when I do that video. But anyway guys, thanks for joining me here today and I'll catch you all later. Peace.